at um, creating keyboard shortcuts, one of the ones that's always been a, a, a sort of a bugbear of mine is edi editing instruments. And I'll show you this. So if I create an instrument, so I'm going to right click in this area or you can click the add button, but I'm going to right click in this area and make a VST instrument. So if we use Retrolog, you've got, this is quite a fresh install. I've installed it this morning of um, Cubase. So this is just the stock stuff we've got at the moment. So I'm going to load Retrolog. So I'm right clicking in this left hand side zone. I'm going to add Retrolog. So I've loaded my instrument. It's just going to my stereo out and add track. That's great. Now, if I wanted to edit this instrument, I can click the little edit there or I can click here. But one thing that, you know, if you've got a lot of instruments running in your project and you're having to use your mouse and go to these two all the time, it's over time, it's going to, you know, eat up a fair bit of time. So what I would do is go to edit and go to your key c commands down here. So it's your edit function in the menu. Go to key commands. These are all your key commands down here. So for different different things you can look at. So what I want to do is edit VST instrument and search that. And at the moment, we haven't got a key command for it because it would be in here. So if I just type in here now and type the backslash and then assign it, that's telling me that whenever I press the backslash on my computer, it's going to go to my edit instrument and you can set up any of these but this is one that i I've, I've noticed i sort of carried on using it the long-winded way and i thought i decided one evening last week i'm going to set up a key command i'm not not using that key for anything else so i've gone to my edit instruments because i've i've searched in here to speed it up because there's quite a few in here for different stuff so i've gone to edit vst instrument i've highlighted it and i've just assigned it so i've clicked in here and then I go to assign, and now if I go OK, fingers crossed now, whenever I press this backspace, backslash key, there you go, we've got it in there. Now I've just got to remember that's my key, that's the other thing. So instead of always going back to your edit there, or edit instrument there, I can now, if I've got multiple instruments working, as long as I've got it highlighted in this left zone, I can press the key, and there it is. Now, you don't have to use that key. You could use the key that's redundant you're not using for anything else. So it's whatever you think, like, whatever you think would be useful for loading a VST instrument. But I just found that quite a useful key for it. I hope that helps.